might want to do is remove your stock front door first by taking out these four bolts here. So undo those bolts. Now you're going to take your new door and you're going to install it on the stock bracket setter that you just removed your stock door from. Then what you're going to want to do is take your four bolts and put them in finger tight first. And once you have them in, you're going to want to go ahead and close the door to help you line it up the top of the door with the top of the plastic in the front of the car. And once you have that lined up, go ahead and tighten down the four bolts. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to take your skin. You can see that the skins are bent facing in, one for the driver, one for the passenger. So I want to make sure you have the right side because it, it'll, it's bent in just a little bit to cover, to go with the line of the car. So get your skin on, put the skin, all the bolt holes in the skin, all the bolts in the skin, put it in loose to start. Don't tighten anything up. You want everything loose. And then once you have them all loose, what you're going to do is go through and tighten them. Now I like to either go front to back or back to front when I'm tightening them, but just tighten them one way or the other. That way you don't get any any weird kinks in the aluminum. So everything will line up correctly. Now once you have the door on, you can make some adjustment to the latch by loosening these two bolts here. And once you have these loose, you can close the door and adjust the latch forward or back, whichever one that, that you need to get it to close nice and snug. Now, once you have the front door on, go ahead and start with the rear door. To do that, you're going to want to remove the three bolts that hold it on, the two in the C-pillar, and one at the bottom of the stock door itself. Once you have that, you're going to want to grab your new door and you're going to install it basically in the same exact spot as the stock door came out of. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set your latch in the front to help you hold the door on. And your, your C-pillar, the top bolt is going to line up, the bolt's going to line up with the top bolt hole in your C-pillar. So put that one in first to help you hold on the door. And then you're going to want to go back and put on the door, put the other one on the bottom part of the door. To do that, you're going to take your 3 8 bolt and washers and put them in Put them in there and you're going to want to go ahead and tighten that down. When you tighten this down, you're going to want to have yourself a backup wrench to, to get in there and be able to tighten this down. And once you have that set up, you're going to want to go ahead and make your adjustment to your latch to make sure you have a nice snug fit and there's no rattle in the latch. and put your skin on. Again, put it in loose. Put all your bolts in first. And once you have everything in, go ahead and tighten it front to back or back to front, whichever you prefer, to make sure everything lines up correctly. And once your skins are all on, your door is installed and you're done.